I am going to show you how to send products from Retail Pro to Shopify. We support three cases known as one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-one. That is to say, send one Retail Pro product as one Shopify product, take one Retail Pro product and split, split it into many Shopify products. For example, you may have one product in Retail Pro that comes in many different colors, but you want to have that sent as one, one product per color in Shopify. In other words, split the product by color and many to one. That is the case where retailers have many products created in Retail Pro, but they want to treat it as the same product in Shopify. For example, you may be a seasonal retailer where you purchase the same item, but create it as different styles or SKUs from season to season, but you want that to appear as one product on your website. So step one is to create the Retail Pro products using your standard Retail Pro procedures. Go ahead and create the products in Retail Pro using the standard procedures you have. You'll fill that in, for example, with your vendors, your departments, your descriptions, your colors and sizes, your price, your quantities, etc. Be sure to check the ecom flag, which is your way of indicating which products you want to send to the web. Now that you have your base product attributes set up, step two is to create a web content file which is where you can add the supplemental product info for your website that you don't typically store in Retail Pro. We'll provide you with an Excel template like this one based on your e-commerce site product fields. In this case, we've got the standard Shopify fields like the body description, the vendor, collection, tags, product template, tax code, country of origin, weight, harmonized system code, and policy. Once done, save the file and copy it into your web content folder like this one and we'll give you instructions on how to set that up or we can do it for you. Optionally, step three is to create and save your product images into your product images folder. Again, we'll show you how to do that or we'll do it for you as you prefer. Now we're here in Shopify in the admin in the product, product page. I'm currently sorted by created newest first which means that the most recently created items are at the top of my list. Let's go ahead and refresh this page and see if the two new products have been created. Great, there they are. And let's go ahead and check out some of the details. Let's click on the sunflower print cauliflower dress. So notice that we took the information from Retail Pro, but we took that supplemental information from that Excel file and inserted that. So we have the title, we have the body description, we have the product type, the vendor, the collections, the tags. And notice we have that main image as well as the variant uh, level images down here. If we go ahead and click on any one of these, we'll see that we filled in the color and size options, the price, the SKUs, the barcode, the weight, the country of origin, and the harmonized system code. By right now we've seen that the inventory has also come in, so let's click on view inventory history. And you can see that six units were added into Shopify inventory just now by Portal MX. Let's go ahead and click on the other item. And same thing, you have here the product with the main product image. You've got your variant level images and you've got your quantities from Retail Pro. So you've just seen two products from Retail Pro automatically created in Shopify and automatically joined with your own supplemental web content and product and variant level images. From this point on, any changes to the product descriptions, including prices and inventory quantities, will auto update to Shopify too. That's it. Thanks for watching and please be sure to contact us to integrate your Retail Pro and Shopify systems.